Okay, so we're going to do neck now. So I'm going to use the cushion in a minute. I'm going to just lift Rita's hair up, hold it there, because I'm going to support her at her forehead. So my hand on the forehead is not pushing, okay, and I'm not, I'm not sort of, I don't want it to be too intrusive. So we're going to just gently sweep up onto the occipital ridge. And then I, there's a bit of a lift happens here. You see my body. Mm -hmm. So two, three, they're rather delicious, so do as many of those as you feel like doing. And then we have like the pussycat back of the neck squeezing, so from the bottom or from the top, but just decide where you're going to go from. Squeezing all the way up, up into the occipital ridge. And then when you get to the top, Goes back down. How's that fresh air with you? Yeah, it's okay. It's nice. It feels nice. And then remember to do it from the other side because my thumb is stronger than my fingers, and so the feeling of it will be different. Yeah, it feels okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe another sweep. So there's that, and then. Using my cushion, I'm going to just come right in close and then ask Rita to drop her head onto the cushion. Is that comfortable? Is that okay? Yeah, I'm already dropping. So. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to sweep up from as much skin as I've got onto the occipital ridge here. So I'm not stretching at this point, I'm just stroking. You can use a little bit of oil. Got to be careful you don't bash the person you're massaging on the nose. Okay, and then we're going to take this into a bit of a stretch. So I'm going to just place one hand on the occipital ridge, one on the shoulder. My body is going like that. So I'm going to push down with this arm slightly pull with this one and sink down. Does that feel like a stretch, Rita? A little bit, not much. Okay, so I can just drop myself back and take your head more into a stretch. How does that feel? Okay. Does that feel more than that? Okay. Mm, so we could do a couple of breaths together. And then I'm just going to ask Rita to push very gently, so 10% of her strength into this hand. If you could just actually, let me just move my hand to the top of your head, there we are. Just push gently against my hand, that's it. Take a couple of breaths while you're making that effort. And on the second out breath, release the effort. And then we get a little bit more into that stretch. Okay. Thank you. So then, I mean, you could do some head mobilising at this stage, which is you might hold the head because you would do that both sides. So just something you could play with. And then we have side pinching. So we've done back of the neck pinching, so stabilising. And just pinching up the side of the neck. Again, a little bit of oil might make this feel a bit nicer. And then you could do both sides, squeezing up onto the mastoid process. <laughs> Down to use your body. And then we also had this one where we were sliding up the side of the neck and then coming across with our forearm. How's that feel? Like a snake. Like a snake. You don't have to make the noise. <laughs> <laughs> and doing that both sides. And then over there, 
that's right. And then there was chopping, sawing off the head. So with the side of the hand, we have this slightly, it feels surprisingly nice. I can't do it that way around, I'm sorry, camera person. That's it, so I'm supporting the forehead. How's this feel? Feels like, reminds me of an itching dog. <laughs> So it's the beginning of the, uh, it takes us into more of what we do when we do the hair and the head massage. Keep 